Trisomy is a genetic condition that affects millions of Americans and covers a spectrum of conditions, including Down syndrome. And it is a chromosomal condition that is characterized by having extra chromosomes. March is Trisomy Awareness Month. And to find out more about exactly what it is and how it's treated, we're talking to genetics and OB nurse Cindy Jen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. And what does trisomy mean and how does it happen? What are the common, you know, trisomies? Can you tell us a little bit more about how it originates and all that? Yeah, so most of us have uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes. So two of each chromosome, one from each parent for a total of 46 chromosomes. And when a person has a trisomy, they have three of one chromosome from one of their parents. And um, there are many different types of trisomies. They occur, 95% of them randomly. So not uh, anything inherited from the parents or caused by the parents. It's a random event that happens. What are the common trisomies? So the most common trisomy in uh, babies that survive and thrive and provide a lot of uh, uh, joy to our community and to their families is trisomy 21, and that's uh, known as Down syndrome, caused by an extra number 21 chromosome. So that extra chromosome causes the similar features that they have. It can also cause birth defects and medical conditions for those people. Um, there are others, trisomy 18, trisomy 13, that are life-limiting conditions. Um, and, and many others. And what are the tests that are available in pregnancy to diagnose trisomies? So it, we've come kind of leaps and bounds over the 20 years that I've been doing this uh, counseling of patients. And so there's still a biochemical screening that's available to women that screens for two of the most common Down syndrome and trisomy 18 Edwards syndrome. So that's still available. And then in 2011, NIPT came out, which is looking at cell-free DNA in the maternal blood and able to detect more cases of trisomy. So that's the best screening that we have. And then of course, ultrasound screening is recommended uh, because ultrasound also has uh, evolved and we have excellent sonographers that can detect findings that might suggest a trisomy. And then diagnostic testing is the test to give answers when we have concerns. And what support is available for families with a trisomy family member? So uh, there's an organization uh, called SOFT. So it's support uh, organization for trisomies, mainly for trisomy 18 and 13 families. And uh, and then there's uh, Down syndrome uh, support associations in most larger cities and then a national foundation and even a global uh, foundation for Down syndrome. And, um, and then we have here in Jacksonville something called Peds Care, which is a medical uh, practice uh, or organization that provides care, medical care and counseling and help for families. Um, so for medically complex children, including trisomies. Well, that's great to know that there's definitely lots of local resources to help those overcome this condition and to bring awareness. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.